Hey guys, what's going on? Today I have another tutorial for you guys on how to install Essentials and use Group Managers. So let's get started. Um, for this tutorial, I am assuming that you already have a bucket server. So if you don't, this t tutorial won't work for you. So um, I am assuming you guys have already um, made a bucket server so if you haven't I am going to put up another video for that soon I hope and so follow this tutorial if you already have that um, so click um, full download link in the description and then drag that to your desktop clear out and boom okay so now once you have that open that up and you will get all these jar files so in your bucket folder go to go, I mean go to plugins I almost at server okay go to plugins and I already have a bunch of um, I already dragged all of that into my plugins folder so now um, you will get all these .jar files and we are going to do stuff with group manager today um, for if you want to install the whole essentials bundle you command a and then drag all of that into your plugins um, yeah so we're just gonna work with group manager today um, so I am going to open that up. Once you drag group manager into your plugins and run your server, um, you will get this file, but you can also open it with archive utility if you want. I'm just going to do that. Okay, so in there, you will get this, um, all these files. Or it will be different if you run your server. You will only get like um, a folder that says world, I think three files, a folder that says world and you click into that and then there's going to be another server that says world and then click into that um, and then you will get um, groups and users. Okay, so if you did what I did, you have to name the plugin.yml into your world's name. So since my world name is world, I will type world. If your world name is um, something else, you will type that. So once you rename that, go into your groups. So um, this is the part where we are going to discuss today and so I am going to break it down for you guys and hopefully this will be easy to understand. It will be hard at first, um, but not once you get what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, look at the first group. These are basically all the groups. There are um, one, the first time you click into here, um, this file, you will get default builder moderator, admin, and owner. Um, I don't know why I don't have semi-admins. I'm not sure why I don't have that, but you will get these. And these, um, like essentials.mail, they are just commands that for a certain group of people, like for builder, they can type um, slash mail, and then they can mail someone, message someone. Um, so for example, if you want the moderator to have um, commands for world edit, it's just an example. If you want them to have commands for world edit, you will go find the nodes. Um, nodes are basically these stuff. So essentials dot, um, essentials dot list basically they can type in slash list and it will list all the players um, if you get what I'm talking about these are nodes um, 
Yeah, so if you want the moderator to have commands for world edit, you will go to a page, a link to world edit permissions. So if you want them to have, let's say, the wand, um, let me just see where the wand, okay. So this is where, this is the wand, right? And then this column, this, this column right here, it's the permissions, the nodes, I mean, the nodes for the command. So if you um, copy this and then, sorry, and then go back to your groups.yml, you will add, press enter, and then follow the format above and then paste that. So now if you're the moderator can type slash slash wand into their um, commands, I mean like, yeah, in the server and then they will get a wand. So that's how you add nodes for certain commands. And yeah, so once you can um, change these groups. So this is default. Um, this means default. It, if you set default to true, that means whenever someone comes, joins your server, they will get the default. So they will join the default group. Um, so if you have this, let's say this group is called noob. Um, if you set this to true, you um, whenever a new person comes into your server, they will become a noob. Um, so that's what default means. And then for permissions, I just talked about that. It's for um, the nodes of the commands and inheritance. Inheritance is basically just, if we scroll down to builder, we will find um, inheritance is default. But since I changed my default to noob, I will say noob. So um, the builder will inherit every single command that a noob has. So that's basically what it means. Um, so if you scroll down to moderator, you will get inheritance builder. So the moderator will have everything, uh, will inherit every command the builder has. So yeah, and you same with the admin and owner. So if you want to add a noob, um, I mean another group, you will go down here. No, you can just like after a group, you can copy and paste and then um, make it whatever. Um, let's make it the uh, oh my god group. Okay, so this is the new group, and you can only have one group that is set to default. If you have two, something will screw up. So you have to set this false if you have noob true. Um, and permissions, you can set whatever permissions you want. So if you want, um, let's say, another command from world edit, you will, let's say, um, copy, whatever. Um, just an example. So copy the node. And then for permissions, you will copy and paste. And they will have that command. So if they type that, they will get, um, they will be able to copy using world edit. World edit. That's the way you um, use world edit permissions or other plugin permissions. If you don't have bucket, I mean the um, the op has to give you the permission and you can use it. So, so if your friend wants to, you want your friend to be able to use world edit, um, you will have to give them the com command and set them to that group. So yes, and you don't space that, it's gonna screw up. So um, inheritance, just put whatever, um, whatever you want it to have. And for info, Prefix is basically the color your name is going to be. So um, 
go to this link. Um, wait. Oh, I don't have it here, but I will have it in the description. Um, maybe I will teach you how to make your name another color next time. And build is basically whether that person can build or not. So if this is default, I don't want any person to come into my server and just start building and destroying stuff. I will set that to false. But if you do want them to build stuff, um, if they're your friends or something, you will set that to true. And yes, that is basically it it's for um, your group group.yml so set that whatever to whatever you want and then now go to your users you will see um, just ignore this it's for example yeah so let's say my username is Hugh um, I will you have to type their ID here um, so if my username is Hugh I will type Hugh here and then I want myself to be owner whatever group you want yourself to be and then you just need to focus on this this line and this line so the middle you don't really have to care about that and for other people like your friends maybe their name is Chris you will type Chris and then their group if you want them to be a moderator you will type moderator and that's how you put yourself or other people into different groups so once you have that that's basically how you code um, how you not how you code um, how you set people to different groups with different um, commands and this is basically my tutorial if you save this and this and you log onto your server or you open your server first and then I will recommend that you close your server while doing this because people get problems um, I'm not sure on whether you will get problems on Mac but in case you do um, just to prevent that um, I will suggest you close your server before doing this so this is basically how um, you, no, I already said that. Okay, so, have fun coding and, um, or making your own groups. So, this is basically it for your tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I will get back to you as soon as possible, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. So um, thank you for watching and see you next time on another tutorial. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want. See you guys.